So now I've opened up Ardor and I'm going to create a um, basically a, a session project here. So I'll say test, uh, I'll say Bach test 2. All right. And that's fine. I can put it in the dance folder. That's fine. And hit new. Okay. All right. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the output is going through Ardor. Am I right? So, we need to connect it to Ardor. We need to add a track. Stereo track. Uh, track mode. I set channel configuration to stereo. Is that right? Okay, and then just add. All right, there we go. Click on this track. Right here. All right, so I clicked on the audio track first to select it. Then this one right here, edit it. And I'm going to click on these to delete these, right? So I delete that. System capture, delete those, because we don't want to capture from the system by default. We want to capture from from Jackrack. Last time we did this, we captured from Muse. But this time we, it's, we're going through some other tools. And the last tool that we're going through is our effects. So we're going to go through here. So which one? All right, out one. And then over here, out two. And close. Great. All right, I'll press this to arm the recording. Where's that? Internal? Internal? Jack? Okay, so Jack is supposed to be the master. Perfect. It's working. That's nice. So basically we say, hey, Jack, coordinate all this for us. Right? We set our inputs. The one part that's a little bit weird is setting that input right here, that 1-2, clicking here, and then having to click here. That was a little weird, but I mean, the fact that you know where that's at, that's helpful. <laughs> okay, so if I wanted to record, I would just press record and then play, right? All right, so press um, record. And, okay, press turn off record. I've stopped. Can I rewind here? All right. And still we have that rewind problem. So with that rewind problem, what I want to do is possibly, let's see here, go back to Muse, and see if I can rewind it here. All right, right there. OK. And is there any other place that we wanted to make sure it's rewound? Go back to Ardor. All right, it's ready to go. So record and then play. I don't know if I have my effects on. Ouch, <laughs> it's a bit loud, Ray. Okay, that was a bit loud. It was getting a little bit beefy right there. A little, we're uh, overdoing it a bit there. Our viewers at home are loving that. Our YouTube uh, audience is loving that one. All right, um, students are digging it. Okay, go to Zenad Sub Effects. All right, where is it at? Jack Rack. That's our instrument bank. Here it is. Okay. Master volume, take it down. All right, we can take that down significantly. Does that sound good? Try it again. All right, let's do that. Um, okay, we'll just rewind here. Take that back. Take it all the way back. All right, we're good to go there. We'll go back to... We've got these enabled. Maybe we can um, take that down a little bit. 
I got this one enabled anyway. Um, I could scroll down here and see what where do we want to turn that down a little bit. Um, all right, it's looking good. All right, time to time to do this. Let's um, press record and play. Okay, that's better. And it's just overriding our previous one. Okay, so this new recording is on top of the old one, and it's going to mask it, basically overriding it almost, right? Okay. All right, let's say this is the end of the song, or can we stop it and stop the recording? Stop that. That stops our recording. There's our recorded sound wave in stereo, two sound waves. Okay, now that we have a sound uh, wave here that we want to record, if I wanted to output this to a file, what I could do is click this tool to select the range. Then I could drag across my sound wave here. Whoops. I got to select the track first. Uh-oh. I messed up. Select the track and then drag across the range. Let's say this is our entire song, right, or our entire piece. And now I've got it selected. Right, I had to select here, I had to select here, and now I'm going to do session, export, export selected. Notice the selected, or I could export the whole session, right? Yeah, I could have done that. Session, it'll go way out to oh, the session's no good. Well, yeah, ah, okay. I'm going to export the selected range to audio file, and then I can pick the file type here. And Bach test two export export two dot wave. Uh oh, Ma master uh, master left on output one, and then master the right channel for master out two, and click export. And we've got our f file, and then we can make our one-time donation. Um. Ask next time. All right. Okay, I briefly wanted to add one more piece that we didn't get to do in class. I opened up the program Hydrogen under Applications, uh, Sound and Video, and let's see here, Hydrogen drum, mach drum Machine. So I've got the drum machine open, and then really quickly, um, some of the things that Ray was talking about is understanding, you know, you, you want to understand a little bit of music theory and set the tempo. But what I did was I just clicked here on this on these beats here and half beats, right? And set different um different drum um well, how would I explain that, Ray? Different instruments, drum sounds. I mean instruments here. So I can set things here. I can have them overlapping, right? And then so you just set these different um, drum sounds, right? So we've got you know snare, jazz, hand clap, stick, kick, right? Um, drums, different drums essentially, and then it comes into pattern one. You could set up multiple patterns with multiple drums, right? Um, and then we just opened it up, but it's already connected to our um, jack controller. And if we press play, it's playing our our MIDI sequence and this um, drum sequence together, and so you could get pretty sophisticated with this. Oh, I could make patterns come in and out here by just selecting and saying this is when I want this to come in, and then I want this, 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 this. Wow. Huh. So pattern two. So pattern two pattern two I have nothing here because that was back here on pattern one right pattern one was right here I did this and I could go and you said you could um, import patterns or or put in some default patterns or pattern maps and program in drum sequences from our patterns so here's our drums here's the beats Here's the patterns. They can come in and out. So you could get pretty sophisticated this with this. It would help if I had some music training. <laughs> uh, but uh, but for playing with, this is pretty interesting. And it's a good reason to get into 
get into this.